This video is brought to you by Omaze. Check out omaze.com slash mav for more information. Okay. Okay. going on everybody welcome back to another episode of i probably packed way too much gear for this trip it's late fall it's getting cold today i'm in a pretty populated area pretty urban environment trying to find some freshwater scallops no scallops aren't really known to be in freshwater but <laughs> i've got something in store for you guys today check this out Dang beeves. Well, this is kind of a nightmare. What am I supposed to do? Just keep on There goes the water in the boot. Oh my god. Oh, just brutal. Soaked socks and 30 degrees. Feels pretty good. Nice. Folks, so here's what we're using as bait. We got like a, I don't even know what this is, a half ounce jig head with a, it's called a moxie swimming bait. It's pretty common here in the Midwest, but essentially this is for walleye and it's like got this really cool ribbing on it, lets it swim in the water. I'm topping this off with some trophy walleye fish scent. Um, just something different. These rivers around here sometimes get some pressure on them and the, uh, the scent Scent can make or break, and as we just saw, I caught a, I caught a trophy walleye, so who knows? Maybe it was, it was either the, the luck or the scent, whatever you guys want to choose, but I think it was the scent. Well, unfortunately, I got home and realized that my uh, my GoPro was frozen during all the fishing. Um, it recorded some clips, but the, the audio recorded, but the video didn't, so I'm glad I at least took some, some video on my camera so I can piece the story together for you. All right, there nice. we go. First fish of the day there. That's a nice one. Yeah. It's like 25? Yeah. yeah, we can measure it. I'm guessing probably 25, 26, but he's just a football. He's so fat. 20, 24 and three quarters probably about. Yes. So the part that we're trying to get here is actually the cheeks right here. And uh, cheeks on walleyes kind of have the same consistency as scallop. They're better on bigger fish like this, but that's too big. All right, so we're going to try it here for a little bit longer. We've got a pike, um, a couple, we got a couple big walleye, lost a couple big walleye, and then Couple tiny walleye, so we we've got enough for a catch and cook, I believe. These are some little guys. Thanks for picking me up, by the way. Yeah, Appreciate no it. I was supposed to be on shore, but you'd have been miserable up there trying to catch fish from shore. Well, especially with wet feet, I'm starting to feel it already. <laughs> yep. Hey. Nice. Little guy. Sauger? That oh, looks like. Is it? Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh! Bonked him. Some... Alright, see you, bud. Alright, well, we managed to get some fishies. I don't really know what I got on footage. My GoPro decided not to show up to the party today. It was there and it wasn't, but we got some fish. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna cook them up. Y'all ready? Yep. So 
So you guys might be wondering, Matt, these aren't scallops. Well, they actually are. So you see right here, I kind of explained it on the fish I let go earlier. The mussels are a lot more dense and they're a lot finer. So it actually has the same texture as a scallop. I've never had pike cheeks. So we're going to try to get a cheek out of this one. This one actually looks like it might be more scallop size. You can see there's my thumb. For reference, this looks like about two or three thumbs, which would take a pretty big walleye to get get one that size. So we're going to do that. We're going to obviously use the fillets of these fish too. I'm not going to waste any meat. The way you clean it out is you take a knife like so. And you got to try to go around the bone here. So we're going to do a full circle. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your finger. And you're just going to get all the way down to the bone and pull up. And then carefully cut the rest of that out. There you go. And do the other side. Yeah, here you can kind of see how well, like how much closer the grains are on this. I'll show you what it looks like on a regular fish fillet, but you can see that even looks like the texture of a scallop right there. I mean, that looks almost identical. So there you go, there's a freshwater scallop. Now let's try the pike, let's see if, see what we can do here. All right, so we got those cheeks taken out, our freshwater scallops. All right, and I'd like to use this time before we start cooking this fish up to thank the sponsor of this video, Omaze. Enter Gateway Bronco, the custom builder's bold enough to cut a vintage Bronco in half, stretch its iconic silhouette, and add two more doors and third row seating. Some other special features include that it has 18-inch billet aluminum wheels and 35-inch tires, LED lighting, Alpine stereo with Bluetooth and CarPlay, heating and cooling for all seats, custom barnwood trunk, third row seating, and a family roll bar. I mean, the list goes on and on. This thing is meant to be off-roaded and is, has enough room for you and your family. Also, $20,000, can you say road trip anyone? You'll be able to travel up and down the United States or wherever the heck you want to go with that. So the charity this month is the Kevin Love Fund. The Kevin Love Fund strives to inspire people to live their healthiest lives while providing the tools to achieve physical and emotional well-being. So to potentially win this awesome Ford Bronco and support the Kevin Love Fund, check out my link, omaze.com slash mav. And thanks again to Omaze for sponsoring this video. And thank you for tuning in. Let's get back to the catch and cook. All right, so I'm going to cook up some scallops today or cook up some walleye cheeks like I would scallops. I'm very interested to see um, how similar they taste to actual scallops. So earlier on, like before I had ever had walleye cheeks, I had remembered people telling me, oh, it's kind of the same texture as a scallop. Oh, it's kind of a scallop. And I see it like it does. It does feel like a scallop, but I want to see how much it is like a scallop. Um, for scallops, I like to use a nonstick pan. I like, I like to, I like cast iron for a lot of things, but for whatever reason, non-stick for scallops is nice. All we're going to do is heat up a non-stick pan. I'm going to try to get some frozen olive oil out. What the heck? Oh, gosh. It's like butter. It's olive butter. Oh. I think I just got my finger stuck in olive oil. Oh, nope, we're good. It's like a Chinese finger pappet. There we go. Wow, beautiful. Okay, so the olive oil is gonna help the butter not burn. I'm just gonna try to peel off the shiny skin that's on here, because that stuff generally tastes pretty fishy. All right, so before we can really do anything, we gotta put some garlic salt on the, oh my gosh. Not that much garlic salt. Oh my, how are you alive? You're supposed to be dead. Stop. You're dead. You are dead. You are not. You're dead. Remember, you're dead. Coat them a little bit in garlic salt. Add some fresh black pepper. Start our pan back up with our olive oil and butter in it. You really want to be able to get like those nice, like the nice crust on scallops. So we're going to see, I'm really interested to see if it does that with these cheeks. So this is a walleye cheek. We're going to try to keep them separated. So these two that are lighter are the walleye. And these two darker pieces right here are the, uh, the pike pieces. 
You really want this to be super, super hot. Let's get these things out of here. Freshwater scallops. These two are the walleye, and then these two are the pike. I think my butter got a little too hot and ended up burning it, but I just put little dots of hot sauce around the side, so we'll see how it is. This is the walleye one. It's not really squishy. Dude, that tastes like scallops. <laughs> it's so weird. It's not like quite as like, doesn't have quite the same flavor. It tastes like walleye, but it has the texture of scallop. Like, look at the, can you see the grains coming out of there? See if I can like kind of pluck it. Yeah, see? I'm telling you guys, freshwater scallops right there. I definitely can tell the difference between that and one from the sea, but for catching it out of a river, not bad. All right, we're gonna try the pike one now. I've actually never had pike cheat. Weird. They're like smaller, even though that fish was so much bigger. Um, I'm gonna try to show you guys as best as I can the texture here. You can see how tough, how tough the meat is. Like it's, it's hard meat. God, if I could only caught like six more of those. Yeah, could I just get, um, it's by the pound. I just really want like a handful of the base scallops. These ones here, these little guys, yeah. they're more for like making chowder and that kind of thing. Okay. The big ones are what you like sear in a pan, what do you sear? cook on the grill and pop in your mouth. You okay, know? yeah, yeah. So let's do two of the big ones and then like three of the little ones. This is what you're looking for right here. So you've got like the uh -huh. Himalayan pink salt, the original recipe, and then a garlic one. Um, less is more, buddy. Just a little bit of salt and pepper. Yep, yep. Don't go crazy with yeah, the seasons. Yeah, I'm not going to go too crazy. Then. I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you very much. Take care, bud. Thank you. Complete transaction. All right, we got some ghee, which is like high temperature, high smoke point butter. I didn't know that, so you guys get... You guys get a tip with me. I have to move my truck now. So I actually wasn't planning on doing this part of the episode, believe it or not, but after doing some thinking yesterday, I think I was a little bit biased on um, how good those freshwater scallops actually were. Freshwater scallops. So I decided to come out and get some scallops. I got I got bay scallops and I got uh, sea scallops. If you guys don't know the difference, uh, bay scallops are smaller. And you can remember that because bays are smaller than seas. Total price. These are $17 per pound, $17.99. And these are for the uh, the bay scallops, and then the sea scallops are $32.99 a pound. We paid $4.95 for a couple of them. The other thing I was recommended by the, uh, the gentleman behind the counter was ghee, a high smoke point butter apparently. So we're gonna use that today and hopefully avoid the situation that we had <coughs> with the butter and the walleye cheeks. Sea scallop, see how big it is? I mean, you'd have to catch a pretty hefty walleye to get a cheek that big. I don't even think you could do it. The walleye would have to be like 35 inches. And then here's, I got these because these are about the same size as walleye cheeks. These are the bay scallop. It has like the same consistency as butter. All right, again, we're gonna do this super simple. I'm gonna use some uh, garlic flaky salt. I'm gonna go pretty light with it. Oh, that smells so good, dude. Oh. These little ones were harder to sear. There's a good one. So you can see what I'm saying though, maybe. See how the meat like pulls apart like that? 
exactly how the texture was on the walleye meat. No, it doesn't compare. These are so much better. Oh my gosh. The taste difference is just insane though. These are so, so much better. And these, I think these might be some of the best scallops I've ever had actually. It makes me want to go forage for real scallops now. Mm. The walleye ones definitely did taste like a little more familiar, a little more Midwestern, but all in all, I would 100% rather have real scallops over the last ones. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I definitely did. Um, sorry that some of the footage didn't turn out, but it's kind of the way things go sometimes. Thanks again for tuning in this episode. As always, until next time, my name is Maverick, and you're under the drill. Just keep on trucking.